arrived at Hypsilanti State Hospital, summer of 1959. I left teaching to begin an ambitious study of delusional patients. I would really like to help you, Joseph. Please address me as my proper name, Jesus Christ, the righteous one am I. I have three patients who believe they're Jesus Christ. It can be but only one son of God. Uh, that's my point. Address me by my righteous name, God to you. I want to put the three of them in a room and study their behavior. What do you think will happen? I don't have a clue. The reason I'm having these meetings is there can only be one Jesus. Only one God. One God, two re-rise hicks. I'm shaking off all of your negativity and all of your squelches, all of your squelching. We do not have false hollowed out gods in Great Britain. Did our father send a boy to do a man's job? <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off! Alan, please be careful. Is it possible to really understand someone else's delusion? There are limits you can't exceed. It's brave and important what you're doing. You decide if the gains outweigh the obvious risks. Gentlemen, I want one of you to lead each of the meetings. I think we should have a vote. I nominate Joseph. Go off him. Unanimous. Why do you want to work with paranoid schizophrenics? Because they're so lonely. By the grace of Jesus Christ, you are saved. Companionship, joy, hope. Will I be able to offer these men a means to find themselves? Lisa here with a bonus movie fact. Did you know that the set for the Ten Commandments was buried underground for decades? Cecil B. DeMille, director of the 1923 film, thought the movie set, including 21 Sphinx replicas, was too valuable to let other filmmakers get their hands on it. He figured it was cheaper to bury the set than to move it, and the artifacts remained underground near the California coast for 94 years before archaeologists found them in 2017. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.